Good evening, everyone. It's Todd Molesky from the State Journal here at the Kohl Center, uh, wrapping up a one to nothing Wisconsin victory over Army uh, here on Friday, October 15th. Um, Tarek Baker scores on a breakaway with three minutes left, a uh, shorthanded breakaway, should add, uh, with three minutes left uh, to serve as the only goal of the game as the uh, uh, offensively challenged Badgers find another way to, to get a victory here this uh, this week against Army. Uh, it, when you boil it down, that was a a much needed victory in terms of well, I guess you can put both of these games this week uh, in this category of, of victories they had to have to show them that yes, these kind of games are winnable when. You have most of the chances of the game uh, throughout, um, maybe the exception of the latter part of the third period, ironically, when they do end up scoring. But you have most of the chances. They don't go in, you stay with it, and you end up getting a goal out of it at the end. Um, that's what the Badgers did tonight. Um, they, they kept pushing, even though it really was Army that was pushing pretty well at the end. Um, I, I had a stat uh, uh, that I put on Twitter not too long ago that um, Army had 12 of the last 13 shot attempts of the game over the last four minutes, and the one that Wisconsin had was Tark Baker's shorthanded breakaway goal. So um, an interesting finish there in that it was really Army that was coming on towards the end, but Badgers get that late goal to get the victory, improved to 2-2, two and two, so they're back to 500. Uh, after last week's um, effort that they sorely needed to move away from. Uh, and I think they did that tonight. Now you're going to have questions about the level of competition with Army. Probably not as good, I think I mentioned this last night, not as, as good as Michigan Tech and certainly not as good as what the batters are going to face in the next three weeks at St. Cloud, at Michigan, home to Minnesota. Um, this is all coming pretty fast now to the Badgers over these next few weeks. Uh, I'm interested to see how they handle that. I, you know, if if they lose one, would they, you know, how big of a bump is that going to be to them? Are they going to be able to recover? Um, so getting ahead of ourselves here a little bit, but that's uh, that's what I'm looking for over the next three weeks now. Um, Again, a really strong night um, for the Badgers in terms of faceoffs, uh, which hasn't been their strong, strongest part of their game in the last couple of seasons. But uh, they win 65% of the faceoffs tonight after winning 67 last night. Um, that's a uh, pretty solid weekend against you know an Army team that's. Uh, from what I hear, has really struggled in in the circle. So um, you know, so grain of salt again uh, with that result. Um, but I uh, I think that was one of the things you could point to is is reason for why uh, UW had a lot of the possession over this series. Uh, starting with it helps. Uh, especially in the D zone, when you start with it and break out, that that works uh, a lot better than getting hemmed in your own zone for 20 or 30 seconds and, and trying to dig out of that. Um, I will get to a couple of the questions here. Uh, Brian says, who should we be expecting more from? Hmm. Well, I think the... You know, it, 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 you start with the people that uh, they put on the top line. And that, that's been a few different groups, but I mean, we'll look first at, you know, Tark Baker's been the first line center for four games, and, you know, he comes through with a goal tonight in a, in a shorthanded spot, so not not exactly top, top line minutes there, but, you know, still a top line player. So I think he knows he, he has to produce. Um, you know, not saying that's going to be a bunch of goals, but uh, that that has to be a line that's going to be getting chances and you know they moved um, Brock Caulfield off of the top line put him in center on the second line this week uh, that seemed to work okay I, you know you saw a lot out of him and Roman Ashan working together 
those are two guys that I think are, are gonna gonna need to to get some scoring going. Um, and then you know beyond that, you're I mean there's there's gonna have to be more out of all of them. I mean in reality. Um, you know, they can be in a lot of close games, but they're going to have to find some goals to be able to win close games. And, uh, you know, tonight at the end, they get one in a little bit of an unorthodox way. Um, two Army players collide and it sends Tark Baker out of the zone on a breakaway. Uh, and he's, he was dead tired. His, his legs were just pumping there at that point to, to get some separation and then and, and keep the breakaway going. And uh, he's able to bury that one for uh, the one nothing win. Brent asks, how many of the shots that Wisconsin took would be considered quality shots? Another good question. Well, um, there were there were quite a few, I, I thought. I mean, I can think of probably, uh, you know, four or five just off the top of my head that were in close, tight shots. You know, maybe not all of them that uh, ended up being saved. Some of them went wide. A couple of them hit the post. Uh, for sure, one of them hit the post, at least. I, I don't know if there was a second one for the Badgers, but... Max Johnson hit the post in the second period, I want to say. Um, they um, will uh, look toward a Dominic Mersch attempt in the third period in the first couple of minutes as a quality shot. But just looking at, at, at the shot charts, which I'll show you here, um, you know, there, there's a decent amount in the... Uh, in the quality scoring zone. Here's the, the Badger side here, where my finger's pointing. You know, there's a few in there. That's the first period. Uh, second period, uh, a few more. Uh, get there, they're over here again. And the third period, I probably maybe a bit fewer. Yeah, in the third period, Army had, had more good chances than the Badgers did. Um, better if I could screen share but I don't have this on my computer so um, yeah uh, you know quality shots you know probably a good five or six um, maybe a few more than that uh, if I went through them all um, Eric asks what do the Badgers need to focus in on practice ahead of a strong St. Cloud team discipline 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 uh, don't want to give St. Cloud chances. You know, you're going to give them a few chances on the power play, I'm sure. Uh, but you don't want to give them very many. Um, they, uh, beyond that, just focusing on some of the things that they did this week, just competing for loose, loose pucks, one-on-one -on -one battles. Those are the kind of things that they're going to have to do. I'm going to say this probably a hundred more times this season those are the kind of things they're going to have to do to win games and to, even to stay in games because they just don't have the um uh you know the firepower this season that they did last season to go out and win games by scoring six goals so um yeah that was i think probably the best way i can answer that um, any update on Bantle, Rick asks. He uh, was in practice with a no-contact jersey on Tuesday, but I didn't see him on Wednesday. He had been skating on his own. Um, it didn't look like he was incredibly comfortable um, shooting the puck, from what I could tell. Um, and, you know, when you have a shoulder injury, that's obviously going to be the, you know, one of the key things to look for coming back. So I'm not sure he'll be ready for next week uh, at St. Cloud um, but I will make sure to keep everyone updated on that so uh, looking forward to that series up in St. Cloud next week um, and I think that will wrap it up here tonight from the Cole Center thanks for joining me again uh, once again the Badgers win one nothing on a Tark Baker shorthanded breakaway goal with three minutes remaining and uh, make sure you check out the game story on madison.com and in Saturday's State Journal. I'm thrown off by the days again this week. Um, Saturday's State Journal. Uh, and check out our um, digital subscription offer, $1 for six months to take you through the rest of the hockey season. So appreciate you checking on that. And uh, we'll talk to you next week from St. Cloud.
Have a good week, everyone.